Hi everyone, this is going to be one of those really specific messages. This is probably only for, you know, maybe just one of you, but maybe maybe a few of you, but this is a very small energy group. But I, I was picking up, so those of you that have been with me for a while, you probably know that I am a medium, so I do, you know, relate information from the spirit world. Uh, I do occasionally channel people that have crossed over. And I was feeling a spirit around me last night, but it didn't, it didn't feel negative at all. It felt like a good spirit. I almost, it's hard to explain it. Like I can't like physically see them in front of me or anything like that, but, but it's like, I can, I can feel them. I can tell when there's a spirit around and I, I felt an energy, but the, 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 the feeling, the vibration I got was a light energy. So I, and I feel like it felt, it felt platonic too. Whoever she was trying to talk to, it didn't feel like a romantic connection. I didn't get the energy of like romance, passion, that kind of thing. It was more, well, maybe, maybe passion, but it was more of a platonic feeling. And I looked into it and I feel like this is somebody's sister. Um, I feel like the main woman that I'm channeling, I feel like this was a, this is her brother that she's trying to talk to. Um, I do feel like maybe there's someone else in this energy group where this was a sister where they, like where you you know both were both sisters but but yeah I, I felt her energy last night and I, I didn't really I was pretty tired so I didn't look into it but I could tell that she wanted me to give someone on my channel a message and it was really interesting because last night I actually had dreams about my my uh, past life my soul brother because I've known for a long time you know, I was away from my soul group. So I've known for a long time that I have a, a brother that I've had past lives with. And I had this dream last night where I was like hugging him and we reunited and we were talking. It was like I found him and I woke up and then I, you know, looked into because I remember last night, you know, channeling that spirit. So I looked into it and I'm like, are they connected? Like what's going on there? And what I picked up is that it was almost like in an energy exchange. And just bear with me. I'm going to get right into the reading in a minute for whoever this is for. She she really wants me to give someone a message here. But anyway, I looked into it and, and I got that basically it was like an energy exchange where she's like, I'll, you know, I know you're separated from your past life brother, your soul brother. I'll bring him to you. I'll, you know, help you to tune into him and and bring him through if you're willing to also help me get through to my brother. So it was almost like an energy exchange that she offered me uh, that I just became aware of this morning. So it was really interesting. Yeah, and usually if I feel, I mean, you know, I'm very hesitant when I feel a spirit around, but I, I didn't feel any bad energy from her. I got a very light energy. So I'm thinking that, I think that she's most, uh, yeah, I feel like she she crossed over. I feel like this is a sister that passed away. Although I, I suppose this could apply if you're in this energy group, this could apply if you have a, a very strained relationship with your sister, but she's a good person. I do get a good energy. So if you have a toxic sister, this would not be for you. This is the energy of a very, um, very genuine, very loving person. I think she worries about people a lot. I'm getting something with water. I don't know if she passed by drowning or if she, uh, maybe she liked the water. I don't, like, I'm just seeing water. Like, I'm seeing, like, like a, like a river or a lake. Um, maybe she lived by a body of water. I'm not 100% sure what she's showing me with the water, but we're gonna, we're gonna get deeper into it. But yeah, I felt a good energy from her, you know, to the point where I wasn't, I wasn't like defensive at all. I was just like, okay, I'll get, I'll get with you tomorrow. I'll do, I'll do a reading. I'm too tired today, but I'll do a reading tomorrow for whoever this is for. So what does this woman want to tell her brother? Let me see. I don't know who this is for, but I think she's sorry about something because I just see her getting really emotional and saying she's sorry. And I almost wonder if like maybe the way that she passed was something that she felt like could have been prevented um, or like you feel like it could have been prevented. Like because like, I keep seeing like a boat and I see like water and I'm not 100% sure, but I'm wondering if maybe she's trying to tell me that like, you know, 
And there's different there's different people in this energy group. So this is like for the main person that I'm channeling, but there might be a few of you where this, you know, your your sisters might come in here and I might channel them a little bit too, but there's one main sister here that I'm channeling. And um yeah, I just I just feel like she's like she's like sorry about the way that she passed, the way that she went. Uh Yeah, let's see. What else does she want to say? Justice, two of wands, six of cups. Temperance. I feel like she was very, I mean, like I said, I guess this could apply to someone like if you have a strained relationship with your sister, like you guys haven't talked in a long time, but I don't know for sure because I just feel like you guys, like she's very loving and very close. Like I feel like she's very, like I don't think if she were alive, I don't think she would have let a lot of time go by not talking unless there was something that was like preventing her from talking to you for some reason. Like if she was like with like someone abusive or something of that sort where it's like she just could not like she wanted to talk to you, but she couldn't. But I don't get a prideful energy from her at all. So I don't think that she would have let like unless there was like actually like a physical block. I don't think she would have let anything get in the way. So for the majority of you, I'm going to say this person is crossed over. Um, Okay, I'm getting a couple of different storylines here for what she wants to say. You are going to have justice in your life. I feel like you've been, um, I feel like f for this brother, I feel like you feel alone and you're waiting for somebody. You're, uh, sorry, just give me a minute here because I'm channeling this. It gets kind of intense for me sometimes too when spirits come through like this. I'm like, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Um, so, okay, two of wands, it's like you're waiting for someone, or you're trying to, like, build something long-term, but you're trying to, like, what is this? Give me a minute here. Tell me, actually, tell me more about this, because before I speak, I want to, I feel like I'm getting it, I feel like I'm, on, like, on the verge of getting what she's trying to say, but give me a sec. King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Swords. You're going to have information coming to you about someone or something. She wants you to be careful. She wants you to... Because I feel like deep down you are a King of Cups. And I feel like she wants you to protect yourself more. Because deep down you are emotional. Like, you know, I think that you both of you are very similar. Like, I do feel like this was a very close sister-brother bond. Like, I think, you know, you might have you might have been older than her. I'm not 100% sure, but I do get, like, that older protective brother energy. But I get that she also really protected you at the same time. Like, she really, like, made sure you were safe. Um, but I think she wants you to to be more mindful of this energy like so like she wants you to be a king of cups but she wants you to be more careful about who you're giving this energy to there's something we're going to get more into it but there's something or someone around you that she doesn't trust that she's trying to like warn you about that she's um like she wants you to make sure that you can stay a king of cups and she's basically saying like if you're the king of cups with everybody like if you don't have strong boundaries if you're just giving and giving and giving it's like eventually you're you're gonna like someone might be trying to use you or something here because knight of swords is like information coming in quickly and wheel of oops sorry wheel of fortune is like karma so it's almost like saying um i feel like you're if you're like empathic you might learn a lesson about setting boundaries and she's trying to get you to like learn the lesson the easy way instead of having to go through all this you know like she wants you to be careful um 
I feel like she wants you to balance things too because it's almost like there's this part of you that's like very you know six of cups could be like the past and childhood so it could be someone from the past that you're considering like building with um but I'm also taking it as like you can be very like innocent and loving and that's those are all good qualities but you need to balance them out because it seems like you go from like being you know innocent and the king of cups and like trusting and wanting to see the best in everybody and then you go from like you know to four of pentacles where it's like you really have to like where you're like holding on to things too much or you have to really protect yourself it's like be loving and see the good in people but also um don't don't go from like one extreme to the other where it's like you love everyone and then like the you know a month later, you're like, screw everybody. People just use me. Um, I'm also seeing this as like, you know, holding on to like your like, like money, your king of cups energy, like just, you know, she wants you to be the giving loving person, the king of cups that you are. She wants that for you. But she just doesn't want you giving that to like, anybody like psychic vampire types who are just going to use and use and use and not give any of that energy back to anybody. You know what I mean? They're just going to take and take and take the more you give. It's like it's it's good to see the best in people, but it's also good to see what people show you at the same time. You need to find more of a balance, you know, because she's kind of worried about you. Tell me about the situation she's worried about. I'm hearing investing in the wrong things. Ten of wands, two of cups. King of Pentacles. I keep getting the King of Pentacles, so I don't know if you're like a King of Pentacles type or you're like an Earth sign, like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly. Um, tell me more about this. It's like she feels like someone or something in your life is a burden. Ten of Wands, uh, Two of Cups. <clears throat> hmm. It almost, I mean, for some, this could be like a friend or partner, but I feel like you would have already known this about this person. Like this wouldn't, um, tell me about this. Give me a minute here, guys. It's, it's almost like she's saying like she wants you to like be the king of pentacles and be stable and grounded um don't don't seek out the wrong people don't trust the wrong people it's like she wants you to move forward confidently as a king of pentacles king of cups finding that balance but it's almost like she wants you to it should not to do it alone I mean but like alone in the sense of like Like, don't bring the, you're, you're leveling up, you're going somewhere. Don't bring the wrong person, people with you or the wrong situations with you on this journey. You know what I mean? Like, if you have to be alone for a little bit, it sucks. But like, be alone for a little bit and, and you know, manifest the right people and go out and find the right people. You know, don't, um, and it doesn't mean you have to be completely alone. It might just be a sense of like, there's maybe you have a lot of friends that are, are good friends, but you have like one friend in particular that kind of just wants to use you or something. Tell me about this, this 10 of, um, so what is this that you want to tell him this 10 of wands, two of cups? What is it that you're wanting him to, you feel like something's a burden on him. You feel like there's some kind of partnership here that's a burden for him. I feel like for some, you might have a lot of money and I feel like this, this person might want to, um, it might be like a shady business deal or they want to like, they want to get you to invest in something, but they're not going to be able to pay you back, pay you back for the investment. Like they might ask you for money, um, but like, but it's, it's something you need to watch out for. And like, don't go, don't go like breaking up with your partner or anything like that. Like if you're with someone who's like loving and kind and you can feel that, then this is this, you know. This one, this is probably someone else, like a friend or it's like a, a potential business partnership that's coming in. So like use discernment because there's different storylines here. But I mean, if this like you would have felt that this person was just trying to use you for money or that they're just after something like you would have felt um, a red flag here. Tell me actually tell me about um, tell me about this. Yeah. Tell me about like whatever we can get here, like the person's energy or the. 
the the situation like what is going on with this ten of wands two of cups this warning here conflict queen of cups king of cups two of wands Two of Wands is like long-term planning. It's like you see, especially with like the world, it's like this person is like thinking long-term. I almost feel like your sister is the Queen of Cups. It's like she's not, it's like she's guarding you from this conflict. I also feel like in this context, she's telling you because Six of Cups is like, you know, like I said, it's like someone from the past or it's like childhood. It's innocence. I feel like she's telling you she's going to help you with long term planning, but you have to be wise and use discernment. I also want to say be really careful because especially if you're like ungrounded, like I mean, I've it was a lot. It was a long process of like trial and error. Like I did. I, I, you know, when I was younger, I fucked around and found out, like especially when I first went through my psychic awakening. Like this was like five, six years ago when I first started channeling. I was just channeling spirits like all the time. Like I felt like I was going crazy. Like it was intense, but I would find the people that needed the messages. So it was like confirmed in the physical where people were like, oh, that's for me. Like, damn, like, how did you know that? And it's like, I was like at the peak of like my psychic awareness, but I did, I did, you know, sometimes I dove in and I was too reckless that I did deal with, you know, lower spirits and that kind of thing. And I had to go through that kind of process of like learning to, be able to distinguish like, you know, lower vibrational spirits from like higher vibrational spirits and like being able to determine who's coming in, what they're trying to say, because, you know, spirits can lie. Like you can, if you're, if you're really desperate and you're in a very low vibrational state and you dive in trying to talk to your sister or someone that passed, you can attract negative spirits. You know what I mean? Like you really need to use discernment to know who and what you're talking to. You know, like it took me a while to like really, um, you know, finally get to the, get to a point where it's like, I know who I'm, I know what spirit's coming through, you know what I mean? But when I was younger, like a few years ago, it's like, I, you know, there were times when I messed up and then eventually I recognized it and I was like, oh, there's, this is, this is not a good spirit. Like I could, you know, but, but I just want to say that, like, don't, like, she is going to help you build, but like, don't go seeking her out too much. You know what I mean? Like, let yourself be comforted by her. But I think like, also you need to protect yourself and ground yourself and don't just be letting any spirits in you know what I mean because that's you know sometimes spirits even have to leave because it's like they come through and then you know humans get desperate because they miss their loved one on the other side and then it's like they become really ungrounded and they end up just opening themselves up to all different types of spirits both good and bad and then you know, their loved one, the, their loved one's spirit has to like pull away because they don't want them to be used by all these other spirits. They have to pull away to protect them, you know? So, so yeah, really be careful. Um, you know, cause spirits can lie. It's a common misconception. A lot of people think that like spirits can't lie. That's, that's not true. Spirits have their own agendas. Um, even the gods and goddesses at times have their, I mean, I trust my gods and goddesses, but I'm also very careful which ones I work with. I have my pantheon and I have my main deities that I've worked with for, you know, quite a while. But, but even, you know, there's, there's certain deities that I will not even work with because, you know, spirits have their own agendas. So, so don't be fooled, um, really protect yourself and be careful. But anyway, back to it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's going to be there. She's, Okay, so she's telling you she's going to help you. I think it's not so much. It's it's almost like I think she's going to lead. Or is your, are you trying to say you're going to lead him to the right people and situations? He's going to have to use discernment, but let's see. Yeah, there's communication in where there is another battle. You're going to have to let go of something or someone because you're juggling something right now. Three of Wands is um, uh, waiting for something. Ace of Wands. Like you're waiting for a passionate new start. And yeah, there's going to be like a judgment where you are going to get that that new start. I feel like, so let me, let me, let me put these away and I'll tell you what I'm feeling. 
I'm going to pull more cards too, so just bear with me. I feel like she's negotiating with your spirit guides on your behalf right now because I feel like you are empathic and I feel like you're about to go through another harsh karmic lesson and she's trying to like, she's trying to protect you from it. It's like she wants to protect you. I mean, you do need to learn the karmic lesson, but she's trying to help you learn it in an easier way. And so I feel like she's negotiating with your spirit guides right now. We're going to look more into this. Hold on. For some of you, you've already met people from your soul group. Like I'm hearing like you've met like, um, like you're, you're going to meet like your, um, like your soulmate or your twin flame, or you're going to meet like, I'm hearing like your, like your soul daughter, your soul son, like your soul, like people like that you've had past lives with, or like your soul brother or sister, you know what I mean? Like you're going to meet like these different people from your past lives, um, which makes a lot of sense, especially if she's your sister, because it's like she's related to these people in a sense. So she can bring these people into your life. But I think she wants you to like use discernment because it's like she would be like, you know, if it was like a like a daughter or son, she would have been their aunt in a past life. So she can bring these people forward. You know, she knows them. So it's kind of like she's trying to get you in touch with the rest of your soul group because she knows that you're feeling alone. Um or it's like if you had like another brother or sister that passed or like in a past life, it's like she's trying to like bring you to those people because it's like that's also her brother or her, sis or her sister. Um, I almost have to like watch this reading again because I feel like I'm going to like forget what I said in this fucking reading. Like sometimes that happens when I channel where I'm like, oh, wow, like I said that and that and that. Like it's just and that's the energy I'm feeling right now where I'm just like not fully here physically, I guess, if that makes sense. Um but yeah, I just feel like for, and for some, you've already met some of those people, you know what I mean? Like you might be in a good relationship. That's why I'm saying don't go like breaking up with like someone that you truly love. That's a good person. Um, I just feel like there's like a timeline and some of you are like on different levels of that, that, uh, you're different, um, different places there. Uh, bear with me for a minute while like, cause I, I primarily channel. So just give me a minute to like tune in and see what's going on. I think she's also bringing these, these people in because they're very, so like you have a very good soul group, like you have a very loving, like you come from like a line of, um, like psychics or healers, like all of people in your soul group have those, that, those abilities or people in your soul group are very, um, like old souls, very high vibrational. And so I think she's also hoping that like bringing these people into your, um, into your uh like your soul group sorry bear with me I'm, let me see what I'm getting here okay I, I think she's I think what she's thinking is that like well for one she doesn't want you to be alone she wants you to connect but I think she's also feeling like if she brings I mean she wants to reunite the family you know what I mean so there's going to be it's like you might meet one person from your soul group and then a couple months later you meet someone else and a couple months later it's like you are you're all kind of reconnecting like this soul group is coming back together it's a really beautiful thing but I'm feeling like, you know, like I said, the purpose is, is mostly like she wants you connected with your with your your soul family, with her soul family. She wants everyone together. But I feel like it's it's also that she's hoping these people are so empathetic and loving and they match your energy in a lot of ways. And so they're ho she's hoping that maybe they can um, teach you these karmic lessons so you don't have to learn this karmic lesson the hard way from someone else. So... Use discernment because for some of you, it's like you've already met the good people and, and your spirit, like you're still not fully setting boundaries strongly enough. And so your spirit guides are considering bringing in someone that's kind of a little bit toxic just to teach you a rough karmic lesson about trusting the wrong people and, and making sure you protect your energy more and, and you know, more self-care basically. Um, for others, it's like the opposite where it's like you've met the bad person or you met the this toxic person or you've you're learning the, the karmic lesson right now or, you know, 
like you're kind of in the middle of that and you're going to meet the people from your soul group soon. Like there's different, you know, use discernment, like you know where you're at in this process. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. For some, it could be mixed too. You might be, you know, you might have like a couple members of your soul group already in your life. And then you have like that one person who's just kind of like using you or, or taking advantage or doing something and you need to set boundaries. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more about what is this that she's trying to protect you from? Yeah, it's like she is very protective. It's like she doesn't want you to have to learn things the hard way. And if this is resonating with you, I, I don't. I'm hoping I, this gets to where it's at, um, to where it's meant to be. But yeah, if this resonates, I appreciate. Just leaving a heart comment, leaving a, you know, a like, anything like that really helps me get back in the algorithm. Sorry, guys, I know I'm all over the place. I'm just, this is a lot of, it's a lot of energy right now. So I, most of my readings are more clear and to the point, but this is kind of a, a more intense reading. So just bear with me. Yeah, she wants you to use your judgment. She wants you to use your judgment about something. Let's see. Or it could be like you're looking for like the one you're looking for, like true love or something, but you need to kind of use discernment and make sure that it's not, make sure you're like aligning with that and it's not just out of desperation. Otherwise, you might have a, you might have someone that comes in and just uses you. Yeah, she wants you to, she keeps, she keeps saying, she's like, I'm like, I think she's the queen of cups. Um, I keep getting something about water with her, something about water, but she's saying with like the ace of wands, I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to pull some more cards too. Sorry. I know this reading is like jumbled. I know I'm all over the place with this. It's just, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> um, I feel like with the ace, with the Queen of Cups, though, and the Ace of Wands, I feel like she's basically saying, like, I'm in control of this new start. Just kind of trust me. You know, use discernment. Be be careful. Don't go seeking her out too much because, like I said, that can attract bad spirits if you, if you don't know what you're doing and you're just diving in. You know, just be grounded. She's kind of saying, like, just live your life and, you know, be the person that you truly are. And I'm, I'm going to bring in your soul group. I'm getting the soul group back together. I'm getting these people back together again. Like, I'm going to bring in the right people. I'm going to bring in good people that are going to help you along your path. But don't jump the gun and, and give that energy to the wrong people instead. I never say jump the gun. Maybe she, I don't know if she said jump the gun. Like, I never, I never talk like that. Okay, let's look more into this. For some, it's okay. I'm getting two different storylines. For some, it's like a toxic relationship that you're either a, you've manifested, you're about to manifest. You would know this though. This person would be very low vibrational and I feel like they'd be trying to use you for money. That's for someone on here that has like a lot of money. I feel like, I feel like this woman is like kind of like a gold digger type. Um, for others, I feel like it's someone that's like kind of guilt tripping you. Like they, they're making you feel responsible for them. Um, could be someone like younger than you or let's see. I'm hearing our mother for somebody. Uh, I feel like you're going to be like guilt tripped into giving someone money or it could be like a shady business deal that you need to look out for. It's almost like I feel like it's coming in soon if it hasn't come in already. So it's like you're being guided to really watch out for that. Five of Wands, Two of Wands, the Star. Yeah, 
Yeah, she just keeps coming through to like say, I'm going to help you with this. Like, I'm going to help you. The star is like healing. Like, I'm going to help you with healing. I'm going to help you with what you're trying to manifest. But, but you got to, you know, clear the energy out first. I almost wonder, because I did do a reading yesterday that was, um, there was like a toxic mother. I'm wondering if maybe that's for some of you as well. It was like a toxic mother that was, uh, God, what was that reading? Wow, I'm like drawing a blank, so maybe maybe not. I don't know, but if, if it could it could be that as well though. It could be that storyline as well. It might all apply to you. I am not usually this jumbled, I swear. I woke up feeling very strange, like so I feel like I did a lot in the dream space last night, and then I woke up and I just felt very ungrounded. So but I wanted to get this done even though I'm not really very grounded right now. I was like, this needs to come out. So anyway. Um, tell me more about the situation that she's, okay, so we know, can we get the point? We get the point. You're going to help him heal. You're going to help him find the right people. You're going to bring his soul group to him. You're going to do all these things. Like you're, you're, you're a spirit guy. You're basically, okay. She's a spirit guy. That's where I'm, that's where I was going wrong. That's why she kept saying it. I think that's why she kept like pointing it out. She's like, look, 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 she's a spirit guy. That's what she's saying. Okay. And she, so she hasn't. Has she crossed over or reincarnated? No. Mm. It's like a, it's like a, it's not like a definite, you know, so I almost feel like she's like considering at some point, but she's going to make sure you're good first and she's going to make sure her mission is complete. So at the moment, no, she has not crossed over, but she's okay. She's in spirit form. She's a spirit guide of yours. I feel like you are, I feel like you guys are very close. So I feel like you are the primary reason that she did not you know, go to whatever home realm she's from or decide to reincarnate back on earth or somewhere else. You know, she, she decided to stay around to protect you. I feel like you guys were so protective of each other. So I think she couldn't, it's like, she felt like she just really couldn't leave you. She wanted to be close to you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about, okay, so tell me what you're trying to protect him from. Give me more details about how he can avoid this. Now, there's information coming through that's going to require you to stand your ground. Um, this could be through your spirit guides or intu intuition. Like you might know, I feel like someone could be guilt tripping you or they're pushing you to do something that you don't want to do. And I feel like for most of you, I feel like there's money involved. So this is either like a toxic woman and you're feeling like toxic vibes from her. Like you're feeling like she's very, um, like the kind of woman that's like you take her to a restaurant and she's like, oh, like you, you're just going to take me here. You're not going to take me to this like $60, $70 plus restaurant. Like why, why, why didn't you, why didn't you take me to this, this fancy restaurant? Like why didn't, you know, something where it's like, there's some kind of hints here and there. I almost, I almost feel like your sister is pushing this woman to slip up. <laughs> If this is your storyline, like this is like a very, you'd be dating a very shallow woman, a very, um, what energy am I getting here? Very superficial, like very, uh, likes shiny things, like likes jewelry all the time, like ne needs expensive things, needs luxuries, not very deep, not very empathetic. Like you wouldn't feel like an empathetic, loving energy from this person at all. You would feel like the opposite of that. You would feel like. Like, I feel like she's, uh, like very selfish. She doesn't really want to help other people. If that's, if that's your part of the storyline for others, that could also be a friend that's doing that. It could be like, even like a, a family, like a family member or a friend who's kind of a gold digger type. Oh, uh, the second storyline I'm getting is that this is somebody that is like maybe younger than you or either young, like, so either like a, like a, like a. I'm getting like maybe like a family member or someone that like makes you feel obligated for them and they're trying to uh like you need to set stronger boundaries with, with somebody it's like someone's trying to get something out of you is the basic energy I get here and it, it for a lot of you it seems like a place to stay or it seems like it's connected to, to like finances to the physical world somehow like, it doesn't seem like a spiritual thing. Like, they're not trying to, like, necessarily, like, drain you energetically or um, emotionally use you. It's more of a, like, a, like, they want some kind of support from you. Uh, 
the third storyline I'm getting, so if this isn't like, it's like a friend or family member or someone that you know that's, yeah, it's like they want something. They want a place to stay. They want money. They want you, they want you to invest. I just keep hearing they want you to like invest in something. It could even be too, like for some of you, this person might not even have toxic intentions. This person might not be toxic. It might simply be that this person is naive and they're trying to get you to invest in something that's not going to go well. Like this could be like a younger person who's like, oh, like we should go gambling or like we should, the stock market's going up. We should invest in that. And you have the money to do it. And it's like, it's going to crash the next day that you invest. It's something, it could be something like that too. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's not so much, it's like a karmic lesson that you need to set boundaries. You need to listen to yourself. You need to listen to your intuition, develop your intuition, really be a little bit more wise. Cause it's like this person, like I said, this person, for some, they don't have toxic intentions. They're just very naive and you're, you know, but they're probably like guilt tripping you a little bit. Like, you know, like that child that's like, oh, I need money for this. I need money for that. But like, you know, you, you know, it's not a good investment. It could be that for some. But yeah, for others, this is like a gold digger type. But again, I think you would have felt this energy. And I think this woman would have pushed this this person to like slip up. And if this isn't a, a partner, this could even be like a friend that wants money from you. If you have a lot of money, like that friend that's like always like, oh, I need I need this. I need that. Like they only hit you up when they want something from you kind of friend, you know. I feel like this is so interesting. Hmm. Sorry, just let me tune into this for a second. Let me let me see what else I can channel from this. I'm gonna pause it so I can sit and not just, you know, make you guys wait with me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like she would have caused this woman to slip up. Like she would have, there would have been some kind of sign that this woman is like materialistic, shallow, just wants money, or this friend, this friend of yours. Um, for others, for like the third storyline, and take it if it resonates. Like, I mean, take it as it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody. So, you know, if you feel like you're in this energy group, you probably are if this is, if this is you know, really hitting you. Um, the third storyline, I feel like it's possibly um, like a coworker or someone that you work with in some kind of financial aspect and they want you to invest in something. It's like they want you to, uh, they want you to sign a contract. Like someone's, you could even be looking for a house right now and someone's pushing you to sign a contract or you're looking for a new job or something. And it's like someone's pushing you to, to settle for less than you deserve or less than what you're wanting. Or it's like, it could be like a contract in the sense of like, like a, like a business partner or someone wants you to invest in something with them. Like they want you to, uh, tell me more about this. So it's like information is coming through and it's going to, you're going to have to stand your ground. Healing the star. Yeah. And you heal this karmic pa pattern. If you do that, if you do that, you're going to heal this karmic pattern because you need to learn to stand your ground. And also, if you're not standing your ground, like as an empath, you're going to go back and forth between extremes where it's like you're very loving and open and you're very, uh, you know, like you're just not fully using your intuition, like you're just trusting everybody You're trying to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. It, it's like you have to find that balance between, you know, believing in people, but also listening and, and believing in what they're showing you. You know, if you feel you have to listen to your intuition, like if you're feeling red flags, you need to listen to that. Don't just assume it's in your head or don't just say, well, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Like you do have a very, like I said, you do come from a, a line of like psychics or healers or something like that. So you need to kind of be mindful. I keep getting the water. There's something about water. There's something about water. It's like what we were getting in the beginning of the video. Hmm. And bear with me, guys. I know this reading was so much more jumbled than all my other readings. Like, it's just, I'm a little ungrounded right now, especially with all this coming through. So just, just, I appreciate you guys that have even stuck it out this long. 
But yeah, it's like if you're just giving and giving and giving and you're not getting enough in return, it's, it's like eventually you, you kind of shut down and you go to the other extreme where you're like, you know, I'm not going to see the best in anybody. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to trust anybody. Everyone's out to get me. Like, I, I can't trust people. And it's like you have to you're, you're very passionate. So it's like you have to find that middle ground and you can still be passionate. Like I'm a very I'm, I'm the same way where I'm also very passionate. But it's like you got to find that middle ground. Because it's like you're going to go from one extreme to the other. If you don't, you have to balance those energies, you know. And I, I always say, too, like healers need healing. It's really sad. Like people that have that whole like beauty and the beast kind of mentality. It's like they sometimes they end up giving and giving and giving to toxic people. And the way I see it, it's like if you give to someone who's just genuinely like on a soul level, a bad person, like they are just like a demon in a human body. They're going to drain you. They're going to take and take and take, and they're not going to give that energy back. But, you know, healers need healing too. So many healers have been drained and just ruined by people like that, by, by situations like that. And the healers really need healing because when you help a healer heal, they're going to go forward and they're going to give that to other people. They're going to, you know what I mean? It's like that, that movie, Pay It Forward where, you know, you have to be mindful with your energy and it's, it doesn't mean not to help people, but also know your limits, know how much you can afford to give. Because it's like, if you heal another healer, that person's going to, like I said, they're going to go forward and they're going to heal other people. They're going to help other people. They're going to, it's going to continue. There's going to be like a ripple effect where if you help someone that's like a demon in a human body, it dies with them. All your good energy just dies with them. There's no, it doesn't go forward. You know what I mean? That's how I see it. And that's part of using your intuition is you have to really learn to use discernment to tune in and be able to determine when someone's genuinely just an evil person and when someone's a really good person who's just, you know, damaged and traumatized and they, you know, maybe have anger issues or depression. Those are normal things. Those are normal. Those are normal human, you know, those are, those are normal. Like I deal with those same things. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's normal to feel pain. It's normal to feel anger. But you really got to, yeah, you got to use your discernment so you're not giving and giving and giving to people that are, are never going to give anything or anyone that energy back in return. You know, really kind of healing the healers more and, and not focusing so much on the people that don't want your help. They don't want, you know what I mean? Like people that don't want healing. They don't want support. They just want to to drain you. They just want to use you. They just want to keep you on the merry-go-round. You need to, to step off that merry-go-round, especially when this information comes through. Some of you do, guys do have information coming through. You're going to find out something about somebody and you're going to be called to stand your ground and set boundaries. And this information could be as simple as like, you know, like I was saying, someone telling you that they want uh, money for an investment or a business partner saying they, they want financial help. They want to do something with you. And you know intuitively it's a bad investment. You need to protect yourself, protect your finances. And I feel like that's going to help you wrap this karmic cycle up where you're going to have healing and you're going to have victory here. Any more words on this, um, what this is? You might need to walk away from something, especially if you want to be in a... Especially if you want to be in the Six of Cups energy where it's like you can be innocent and loving and you can be pure. You also have to be mindful of your environment and make sure you're in an environment that nurtures that where you're supported because you can't really be in that energy around toxic people or around, you know, like if it's like a gold digger and you can kind of tell like this person's slipping up and you can tell they're just, they see that you're rich and they're trying to get your money. You really need to be more mindful about that. But yeah, some of you are going to be called to walk away so that you can be your true self so that you can tune into this free spirited childlike energy. You need, you know, but as an empath, you had to learn to set those boundaries. You're going to have a passionate new start here. And I do feel like you will have like what you're seeking, like the marriage or commitment. You've either already met your true love or you're going to meet your true love soon, I feel. But for some, it's like this is like blocking and you have to clear this karmic cycle up before you can meet them. For others, you've already met them, though. Because it's, it's kind of like she's like saying, like, don't worry, like what's 
or I guess like what God is saying, like, cause I, I, I were, I'm pagan, but I do believe in God too. And I'm hearing like, like God is saying, you know, when you walk away from what's not serving you, I'm going to replace it with something better. Like I have something better for you. I know it's scary. I know the unknown is scary. You can't see what's ahead, but if you just let this go, if you let go of this gold digger that you know deep down she's just she's very shallow, she's very superficial, she's just using you. I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace her with someone better. I'm gonna I, I have your divine spouse here. I have someone that is gonna love you for you. They're not just gonna be because I just get like a very materialistic energy from her, like very um very uh flashy, like she likes to uh I feel like she likes to dress very provocatively, but it's almost like she's not dressing like that for you. She's dressing like that for like attention from like, like she, I don't just, just very shallow energy. I don't know. You, you, if that's your storyline, you know, what it, you know, you know what's going on there. Or it's almost like if you've like said yes to someone so many times, you don't know how to say no to them, whether it's a family member or a friend, um, could be a toxic friend using you. It could be like a business partner. And you're like kind of afraid of saying no because you're like, well, what if I lose this? What if they're not used to me saying no? What if I lose this business deal? Or what if what if nothing better comes along? What if I say no to this business deal and I don't get that chance again? But you intuitively, if this is for you, you already know that that business deal is shady. Like you're getting, it's almost like you're not being allowed time to think either. If it is a business deal, I feel like this person's really, um, pushing you like when are we going through with it when are you going to sign it when are you going to sign it and someone could be pushing them behind the scenes too that might be why they're pushing you because there might be like I said for some the person that you're dealing with is toxic and you got to cut them out but for others they're actually just a puppet and they're naive and they're being used by somebody else so it could be like a business partner that's like being pushed to sign something by someone behind the scenes that wants to take you know both your money and theirs and this person's in this business partner or, or coworker is naive and they don't realize what's going on. And so they're pushing you to sign this contract thinking, you know, it's going to be such a good deal. And then you're both going to get screwed over. So it's like you need to listen to your intuition. Don't give in to peer pressure. Or it's like um, like a house or something like you're like someone wants to buy a house with you and they're like, this looks so great. And like you feel something's off with that house. Like you feel like it's like it's haunted or like the. The walls are like it's an old house and there's just something off with it. And you're like, I don't know about this, but like your your person really is excited about the house. They're all like, you know, like, let's sign it. Let's sign it. Let's let's move in. And you, you know, something's off. You need to listen to your intuition here. You need to avoid whatever this is. Whatever this gamble is, I, I don't feel like if this is your storyline, you're resonating with all of this. I don't feel like this gamble is going to be worth it. But again, you would feel that you would feel that. So I want to like, I want to just, you know, always use discernment with these readings, always go with your intuition because there could be some of you that are watching where it's like, it is a good business deal. But if, if that's the case, this probably isn't your story. Like this would be, you would have felt this energy. You would have felt like, like you're hesitating. That's what I get from this energy group. It's like, you're not, you don't, you probably can't put your finger on it, but you're like, I don't know why I don't like that house. I don't know why I don't that apartment we looked at. I don't know why I don't like it. I don't know why I don't want to sign the contract. I just don't. And someone's like arguing with you, like, let's sign it. Let's move in. Let's do it. And you're like, I, you're like trying to listen to your intuition, but they're also pressuring you. You know what I mean? Like you're not, this wouldn't be something that you felt good about. This would be something that you, you do feel like something's kind of off, but you just can't put your finger on it. Or same if this is like a friend or like a, someone you're dating, it's like, you would have felt that they're like you, you feel like they just want money. This, this is for someone that has a lot of money. This is that, that storyline I think is for someone that has like, like you make probably like 10, 15 K or more a month. Like you, you make a lot of money. Like this is, I'm assuming, I mean, that's what it feels like. But yeah, they want you to know that it's it's whatever you're you're letting go of, it will be replaced. This was it's almost like you're being tested too, where this is like the imposter and you're about to get the real thing. For some. For some. For some, that's not the situation. For some, it's like, like I said, you already have the real thing. You already have what you want, but you also have this other energy in the mix that you need to clear out. But but for some, I just feel like you're like, well, what if we don't get a business deal like this again? Like, what if 
what if this does produce a lot of money? But you know deep down it's not going to. And I think your spirit guides are saying, like, you're going to, don't worry, you're going to get a lot of money in return. There's going to be another, like, the real thing is going to come up. It's going to come through as long as you're staying on path. Okay, I'm going to put these away. I'm going to see if there's any final messages she wants to give. I really appreciate, like, if anyone actually stayed this long, I appreciate you guys. Because I know I was all over the place with that reading. I'm going to have to ground myself a bit before I do the next reading for you guys. Okay. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, she does really miss you a lot. I do feel that pain from her. But, I mean, take comfort in knowing that she is a spirit guide. She is protecting you. She is... Sometimes when you hear your intuition and you're like feeling led to, to do something or not do something, that's that's her coming through. But again, don't, you know, be careful. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really seek her out because that could open up to, to bad spirits too. But any final messages? Listen to your intuition and balance things out. Stand your ground, stand in your power. Because you can be your true self. You can be, you're the, you're the king of pentacles and the king of cups deep down. You're someone who's who's stable, who's grounded, who's loyal, who's uh, emotional, who's romantic deep down. Maybe you don't show everybody that, but that's who you are deep down. You're, you're a very emp empathetic person. Um, and like I said, you come from a long line of, of, you know, high priestess energy. You come from a long line of psychics, of, of healers, of those types. Yeah, that's really interesting. Hmm. Yeah, high priestess, just listen to your intuition. Why am I being guided to this? What is this? I've never looked at that before, but I don't know why I'm getting, being guided to that. It almost looks like it has like spikes. Is it like, is it, it looks like a... It's like almost like a water reference again where it's like the sea urchin, but I'm also seeing it as like this, like it looks good, but there's like spikes around it. It's like another kind of warning card. I feel like it's also saying temper yourself, like protect your light. This is like all this light in there and there's like these, like you have to be again more mindful about giving to the wrong people that are just going to take. They're not actually going to give that energy to anyone back in return. The High Priestess, Temperance, Son of Wands. Yeah, using your intuition is what she's... I, what I feel she's saying is using your intuition is going to be what leads you to this balance. It's what's going to allow you to continue to be the king of cups and king of pentacles because she's not saying to close your heart off or to stop being your true self or she, she doesn't want you to harden your heart she wants you to be who you truly are she wants you she really admires you you guys have very similar energies as well and she wants you to stay in that energy and she wants you to to be mindful of your environment though so that you can stay in that energy so you're not you don't end up drained and bitter you know a lot of narcissists are people that were once empathic, honestly, or people that want, like, or people with narcissistic traits, I should say. A lot of them are damaged empaths that over time they became more and more bitter and they started hating people. And it goes on for years and years and years to the point where someone just really changes. And so she wants you to avoid that path. She doesn't want, you know what I mean? Like she wants you to, to be your true self, but protect yourself and ground yourself at the same time. Uh, ground yourself in water here possibly for some and and really just you know be mindful of your environment be mindful of trusting the wrong people really stand your ground so that you can move forward in your life and you can have all the things that you're trying to manifest any final messages for some you're connected to, to night you're connected to like the moon and the stars or your soul group is connected to the moon and the stars. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it's it's really I know it's a strange message. That's what that's what I got though. 
There's also healing being taken to, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. There is healing taking place behind the scenes as well. Your spirit guides are helping you heal. Yeah, they're helping you close out these old cycles. Yeah, because if you're being logical and honest with yourself, there is something... There is a biz there, you know, it's kind of just reading what we were saying. There is a business deal or there is a person or there is a, some kind of block that you have to let go of. Yeah, single and abundant. Yeah, your ships are going to sail into whatever you're waiting for. Yeah. Whatever you're waiting for. It's almost like you're going to rebuild yourself. Like you're the king of cups right now, but you're like almost like an imbalanced king of cups. Like you're the king of cups that just gives to the wrong people or you give too much. And it's almost like you're going to be like broken down and rebuilt so to be like a true king of cups where it's like you're emotionally mature, but you are again grounded. It's like you're becoming like a new version of the king of cups. Does that make sense? And you have a passionate new start ahead of you waiting for you. Um, almost, I'm, I'm feeling like, almost like be the emperor in a way, like try to like become the emperor. The emperor is all four kings combined. He is the, the most powerful energy in the deck. He's the king of cups. He's emotional and romantic and emotionally mature. Uh, he's the king of pentacles. He's, you know, financially taken care of. He's grounded. He's, he's loyal. He's stable. He's the king of swords. He's intelligent. He's He's logical. He's able to use his mind when he needs to. He's able to to determine what situations call for him to use his his heart and what situations call for him to use his mind. King of Swords. We have the King of Wands. You know, passionate, charismatic, uh, adventurous. Like be be all four kings combined. Balance those four kings out. Balance those energies out and be the emperor. Okay, so we get we get the point. I feel like she's re reiterating a lot of the messages. But let's, let's, okay, so any final messages? This reading has gone on for a while. Any final messages? Yeah, she's just saying the same thing about this offer. Okay, so I'm guessing there's no final messages. Okay, so I'm going to try one last time. Are there any final messages? Are there any final messages? Is there, is there a cat? I just saw a cat, which is real. I mean, like in my mind's eye, I didn't like actually see a cat, but that's for somebody. Maybe that's confirmation. Maybe you have a cat. Maybe you like cats. I don't know. I love cats. <laughs> I'm a cat lady. <laughs> okay. Any final messages? Eight of Pentacles, three of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to, if you rebuild yourself, if you're, Again, finding that balance that we talked about, because for some, it's like you try to find that balance in the past, but again, you did it by like shutting people out. Like you went from one extreme to the other, but now you're actually really working on yourself and finding that balance. And I feel like you are going to have like a new start with love, with soulmate connections. Why the three of swords? Nine of wands. Yeah, it's like you're going to have to... Let's see. If something broke your heart in the past, she wants you to to look at that and not let it stop you from having a ton of pentacles with somebody that really loves you. She's wanting you to not let this situation, whatever it is, make you jaded. She wants to make sure like you're still, you know, keep being your true self. You are gonna find this this ten of pentacles. This is like family too. So this is like this is this is everything pretty much. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.